Welcome back, everyone. I am Jamie C. And this is strength video number 36. Today, we have some wonderful core work for you, core strength work. Um, we're going to do two sets today, of course, after our warm-up. And each set will have uh, five different exercises. Um, they'll go in this order. We'll do a plank. We'll do a traditional crunch. We'll do something to work the back body, the posterior chain. We'll do an oblique. And then finally, we'll do something that is core oriented, but it will uh, get your heart rate up. All right, what I'd like you to have today is some space available. Maybe you have your mat down, maybe you have a carpeted area. Um, let's get started. Any music you want today, and of course, have some water handy for when you start to sweat. Ready? Ready. Okay. Start your music. Start with an athletic stance. That means your feet are about shoulder width apart. Give me a big shoulder roll up, back, and down, keeping that chest proud. Your City of Austin logo proud if you've got your t-shirt on. From here, we're just going to step side to side. Start right. Right step, left step. Your knees are soft, and your core is already turned on. So that doesn't mean just activating the front of the core, right? I want you to think about activating all sides of your core. Front, side, back. Brace it there. We're going to add some arms to this move. Just reach, pull, reach, pull. <clears throat> just traveling side to side for now. From here, I want you to bring up heels high. Hamstring curl. Elbows coming back behind you, and then reach above the head, right? See my arms go above the head. Changes to a high knee. So wide leg still, reaching above the head still, bringing the knee up to hip height, or maybe higher. You choose how warm you are already, how much flexibility you have, all of that comes into play here. Four, three, two. We're going to hold it over on the right knee. Pull, 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 pull. That's right. Pull, pull. On three, two. Ready? Other leg. Reach and pull. Reaching above the head. Pulling the hands down to your rising knee. They meet somewhere in the middle, maybe around your waist level. Four, three, two. Nice job. Take a wide stance, knee soft, core in. Drop the weight through the heels as you squat and reach up. Send those hips way back. Send those hips way back. Yes, back is flat. Thumbs are up as you reach. Excellent. Excellent. Maybe you get a little more range of motion as you start to warm up your body. Good. Give me three. Bringing your biceps right next to your ears as you reach. Give me one more. Hold it here. Hold it low. Reach up. Yes. Engage your back body. And pulse here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Shake it out. Nice job. So we're going to challenge our balance before we get into the rest of the workout. Stand on your left leg. Right leg goes back. Left hand goes in the air. Swing this right leg up. Touch fingertips to toe. Fingertips to toe. So if you must, tap this right leg back down. But I'd like you to try not tapping it. Place it behind you and then up. Place it behind you, yes, and up. 
Excellent, excellent. Find your balance, find your balance, and work that, right? Leg goes back, leg comes forward. Leg goes back, leg comes forward. Keep going, give me four, three, two, the last one, okay. We got another leg to go. Balance on the right leg, take that left leg slightly behind you and just a little tippy toe touch down so you can really find your balance solid over the right leg. Right hand goes up, left leg swings forward, foot is flexed, and then reach it back. Try not to touch that toe down, right? Reach it up, place it back. Now I'm squeezing my glute, lengthening the leg, and challenging the heck out of your core as we balance reach and forward, reach and forward. So I'm placing the leg forward, I'm placing the leg back. Instead of a big swing back and forth real quick, that doesn't challenge us as much, right? Reach and hold, reach and hold, reach and hold, reach and hold. Need two more. One more. All right, shake it out, shake it out. So we are going to come mainly to the floor for the most of the workout. So I'm going to bring you down a level and have your mat. And then we're going to start with walkabout planks. So for walkabout planks, your feet are about shoulder width apart, knees are bent. You're going to come over flat back. Right, my shoulders are in their sockets. What I don't want to see is a rounding and the shoulders dropping. So when you come down, back is flat, shoulders are in their sockets, not the least and rounded, shoulders in their sockets. You're going to come down and touch the ground very near the toes, very near the toes. From here, you're going to walk the hands out to your right side in a big circle, come through center, now you're in plank position, tail is down. Walk them through the left side, hips go back up, and your hands come in very close to the feet before standing up, reaching up. All right, we're gonna do that to the other side. Knees are slightly bent, back is flat, shoulders in their sockets. Reach the hands down, even if you have to bend the knees deeper to reach the hands down, fine. Come out to the left side. Left side, you're doing a walkabout, with the hands, when you're center, you're in plank. So the hips are not up in plank position, right? Hips are level with shoulders in plank position. Coming out to the right, then hips come back up and standing. Excellent, let's start from the top, bending the knees, touching the hands down, walking out to the right. Walk out to the right, make a big clock on the center. Check your plank in the center. Come out to the left, hips go back up, hands come very near the feet before standing, before standing. And then on the way down, knees are soft, back is flat, hands land right in front of the feet. Come out to the left, hips level off as you plank, walk about through center, over to the left. How many hours can you put on your clock on the ground, right? These clock planks or Plank walkabouts, come down, out through the side, hips come down, solid plank in the center, come through the left, hands come near toes, then stand, come out to the left now. Have you noticed we're alternating, starting right side, left side, coming out through center, hips level, hips level, walk those hands in near the toes, then stand up. Let's do it again. Bend the knees. Back is flat. Hands touch down. Come out through the side. Hips level off. Hands come down. Out through center. Hips still down. And then as you walk your hands back to your, your, your toes, the hips go up then. Out to the left. Yes. Walk it. Walk it. Level off your hips. Plank. Walk the hands through center. Check your plank. Right? Your hips are not up. They're not sagging. To the right side. Excellent. Give me one more each way. Starting with your walkabout to the right. Level off your hips. 
come nice and solid through center. Then hips come up as your hands come very near the toes. Then stand, we have one more to the left. You got it. Hips up, hands down, and hips come level with the rest of your torso. Walk it to the right. As your hands come in, then your hips can come up. Whoo, excellent work. That was our first exercise in this round one. Remember our order, we have a plank, a crunch, a back body, an oblique, and then a blast off. Something to get your heart rate up that's still very core oriented. Take a deep breath. We've got a big crunch exercise coming up. Are you ready? I think you are. Come on down to your back body. I just noticed the mat looks a little crooked, only just because the angle of the camera. Here we go, here we go, and there we go. Okay. So, on your back body, you're going to lie back carefully, roll back one vertebrae at a time. Ah, oh, that feels good, doesn't it? You're going to extend the arms overhead, and they're going to be at a 45 degree angle from the floor. Palms up towards the ceiling. And you're going to extend the legs. A level one would be extending legs out towards ceiling. Level two would be lowering them down. The lower that you can get them towards the floor, the more activating that is for your core. So, depends on how much your low back there is going to pop up or give you any um, feedback. You don't want low back feedback. So, <laughs> If your low back is giving you a hard time, lift the legs higher. If you're able to engage the ab without, uh, without hurting the low back, then lower them to a 45 degree angle at least. Okay, here we go. Arms overhead, legs up and lowered. Lift the head up and pulse the arms. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, I want you to give me a big crunch in and then extend the legs and arms in the same direction. Feet are flexed. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Crunch it in tight. And then extend arms and legs. Arms go overhead this time. Lift the head up if you're able to. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tuck it all in. If the neck is strained, you just lower the head down. That's okay. Extend the legs and the arms. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tuck it all in. Extend legs long. Arms overhead. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tuck. <sighs> Extend. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tuck. Extend. Arms overhead. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tuck. When you tuck, head and shoulders do come off the mat. Extend. Flex the feet. Spread the fingers. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tuck, extend overhead. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tuck it all in. <sighs> extend. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Give me one more each way. Starting overhead, swing the legs, lower them down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, tuck it all in, head and shoulders up. Extend the legs, flex the feet, spread the fingers. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ooh, you made it through. You made it through that intense crunch series. You may rock side to side. You may circle the knees in one direction and then the other. Whatever you need to do to release the flexors. Maybe you want to push 
the heels into the ground and lift the hips up to extend the hip flexors right there. Take a deep breath. Know that you are strong and made it through the crunch set of this round, this round one. Now remember our order, after crunch comes back body. You're ready for it, I know you are. We have got a crab crawl. We're gonna go to the right and to the left, and we're gonna reach opposite hand to opposite foot. It's intense, but you can do this, I know it, I know it. So from here, to work our back body, I'm gonna place the hands behind me. Fingers can be towards your body or out to the side or away. It just depends on how, uh, how that feels for your wrists and arms. Play with it, okay? From here, place the feet on the ground and lift the hips up off the mat. What we're going to do is on each side, reach opposite hand to opposite foot while our hips are off the ground, right? Our hips are up, opposite hand, opposite foot, opposite hand, opposite foot, leave those hips up, right? I'm not on the ground and I'm gonna walk my hands over to the right, leaving the hips off the ground. If at any time this is too much for the wrists and you do need to leave the hips on the ground, then just give me a crab crawl, right? One and one with the hips down. That is an option. All right, you're coming with me. Hips up, walk over to the left. Keep the hips up as opposite hand, opposite foot, reach, the leg is long, the arm is long, right? And then you can always do that with hips down. Let's come over to your right. Excellent, leaving the hips up, reach, and reach. Finding that balance, right? This is tough on the back body. <sighs> working the arms, working the hamstrings and glutes, and then your balance as you reach one arm, <sighs> and then opposite leg. You got it. If at any time you need to come down and take a break, please do so. Otherwise, come over to your right. <sighs> Excellent. Reach, opposite arm, opposite leg. Excellent, coming. Over to your left. Keep those hips up. Reach and reach. Keep your hips up. Over to the right. Keep your hips up. Lengthen arm and leg. Lengthen arm and leg. Hips stay up. Nice job. Reach it. Reach it. Can you give me one more each way? Let's go. Over to the right. Lengthen, reach, lengthen, reach. Over to the left. Last time. Lengthen, reach, lengthen, reach. Now, you can give me a turtle stretch. This is where you bend the knees around the back, grab over or under the feet over or under the feet. Give yourself a second here to release the back side. Since walking crab crawl does work your back side mainly. Okay. You all know you had a back of your core, right? We often don't look at that part in the mirror, but it is there and it's important, it is strong. If you have a muscular imbalance where your core Front of core is very strong because you've done X amount of sit-ups per week, right? But you haven't done anything for the backside. That creates a muscular imbalance that is very dangerous and could injure low back, right? So we want to make sure we work all sides of the core. Now our next core move is obliques, right? And we're going to come down for an oblique side crunch. On the back body though, we'll, uh, let me make sure my camera is on. Okay. <clears throat> on your back body, come on, cross your left ankle over the, the right leg, 
so that you make the number four with the legs, and then bring your tip touch behind the head. Okay, here's our crunch to the side. Let's start with the upper body, just coming up over so that this opposite elbow reaches towards opposite knee, and then back through center and down. We'll reach up and over, back and down. Oblique work here. Exhaling as you come over. Exhaling and then inhaling as you come back down. So what I want you to keep certain that your elbows are wide and not coming in. That will keep any strain off the neck because I want your abs doing the work, not your neck or your head, right? Abs are doing the work as you come up and over. Excellent. So this is a level one, and you can always come back down to this level, up and over, up and over. But we're going to add to this, and that's when we bring our lower body up to meet the upper body. So, lower body comes up to meet the upper body. Still the same move with the elbow coming across. This time, I'm just engaging my lower body. When my foot comes down towards the mat, it just barely brushes. It doesn't rest, right? It just barely taps without putting any real weight onto the mat or onto that foot. You keep going. Up and across, up and across. Excellent work. Think about the obliques here. That's the muscle we're working. Those muscles that wrap around your rib cage. Give me four, three, two, and last one. We're going to uncross and then cross the other leg over. All right. Keeping that fingertip touch behind the ears and a little space between your chin and chest, right? We're going to start with upper body only as we come up and across, reaching the opposite elbow towards opposite knee. Exhaling as you lift up and over. Inhaling as you come back down towards the mat. I want you to flex the foot that's crossed. I want you to think about putting very little strain on the neck. You're just lightly supporting the head with your fingertips. Excellent. Are we ready to add to this? We're going to bring our lower body up to meet our upper body. That foot barely brushes the mat. Really, if you have the ability, don't touch the foot down at all. I don't want you to put any weight onto the mat with that foot. Remember to exhale as you bring the elbow up and across to meet to opposite knee. Flex the foot that's crossed. Well, heck, you can flex both feet. Working that oblique, up and across. Good. Give me four, three, last two. Give me one more, guys. Excellent. From here, I'm just going to release the hip flexors by pushing the weight into the heels, lifting the hips up and just feeling a release through the top of the leg. As I squeeze my glutes, the weight is in my heels and my shoulders there. You wanna slowly roll down one vertebra at a time, and if you need, you can roll out the legs for more of a release. Okay, last in this set. Remember, the last in this set is a blast off, right, where we Take the core move and try to get the heart rate up. Yes, this is optional. You can take it slow if you don't want the heart rate 
Um, if you don't want to bring your heart rate up, if you do, if you want to burn a few calories or keep the metabolism lifted up, go ahead and come with me. Level one would be doing the mountain climbers on an inclined space. Maybe you have a bench at home, maybe you have a coffee table or a chair. That would all be ideal for inclined mountain climbers. Hi, I'm just going to come on the floor. So, if you're on the floor with me, your hands are underneath shoulders. You extend one leg out, the other leg out. Start slow with me here, bringing one knee to chest at a time, staying in that plank formation. One knee to the chest at a time, and you can certainly stay slow here, right? But that's not very much blast in a slow, um, slow uh, knee lift, right? I'd like you to build up the speed of the knees a little bit, maybe a little bit more at a time, and then eventually you are running right there in plank. Keep going, keep running. I'll coach you through this part. You will bring the heart rate up. You will increase the breath, start to suck some wind, right? Keep going, keep going, knees up, knees up. Run it here, run it here. What I don't want to see is um, hips way up with the knees coming towards belly, right? You want the hips down with the knees coming towards chest. And I actually feel my thighs hitting up towards my chest when I do that, yes? That's how high I can get my knees. Good, 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 run, run, run. Are you breathing heavier? Are you working that heart rate? Yes, good, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Nice job. Give me a high five. Virtual, of course. We do have one more round. We do have one more round. Those same exercises, one more time through. Can we do it? Can we do it? We can do it. Grab some water and meet me back here. Okay, you've hydrated, you're ready for the next set. Same moves, I'm little, very, um, very little explanation, right? You know, you know the moves. You can go back to the start of the video if you need a refresh, but let's just hit this one hard and fast. All right, we've got our standing plank walkabouts. Athletic stance, slight bend in the knees, flat back, fingertips near the feet as you walk over to the right, hips come down, plank position, yes, you're there, walk to the left, hips go up as you walk your hands in, reach up towards the ceiling, knees are soft, start over to the left this time, coming through center still, excellent, I'm going to shut up and just move with you. Keep going, guys. Over to the right. And over to the left. Keep going guys, over to the right. And over to the left. Move, you know it, it's our crunches. 10 pulses overhead, 10 pulses near the abs. Come back, lie down, reach the arms up and long, the legs up and long, lift the head up if possible, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, crunch it all in, release, palms down, 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Crunch it all in. Lengthen overhead. I'm going to shut up. You keep going. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. Exhale. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Crunch it in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Three. Exhale. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Crunch it in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You know the next one, it's our crab reach. Hands down, feet down, hips up on this side, opposite hand, opposite foot, come over to your right. Opposite hand, opposite foot, come over to your left. work next. Remember, it's our figure four legs with opposite elbow to opposite knee. Make that figure four with the legs. Fingertip touch behind the head. Upper body first. that lower body now. Other side, cross it, upper body. in the set is our last off, right? You're going to place the hands on the shoulders, up onto the toes, slowly bring one knee to the chest at a time, and start to speed that up.
You guys, we made it through. Round two, deep breath. We're gonna cool it all down. You ready? Me too. Let's cool down. So first, in the cool down set, take the legs wide, elbows on the inside of the knees, palms pressing in towards each other, sink hips as low as you're able to go, whatever your range of motion is, is fine. Hands down, hips up, and then hips down. Hips up, and hips down. Give me one more, like that. Shake your head yes, very gently. Very gently, shake your head no. Come over to one leg. Lift the back flat. Maybe you come to your fingertips. Maybe you come to your shin. Back is flat. And then lower the head back down. Walk your hands over to the left leg. Maybe you come to your fingertips. Maybe you come to the shin. Back goes flat and over that left leg. And then lower back down. Excellent. From here, we're going to need to drop back knee down, front knee in line with front ankle, press through to feel the hip flexor stretch. Maybe you want to reach up, lengthen hands towards sky, drop shoulders away from ears, press hip flexor forward. Excellent. Excellent. From here, drop hands on either side of front foot, lengthen front leg, pop this toe towards ceiling, and lengthen the back, straight back, flat back. Straight front leg or relatively straight if you need to bend that knee because of flexibility, that's okay. Excellent. Let's go to the other side. Back knee down, front knee right in line with front ankle, and then lengthen forward instead of up, and then lengthen behind you. If you're able to grab the hands, great. If not, you can have a towel or a strap between the hands that you hold, but you're pushing this hip forward and down. Chest is proud. Hands on either side of front foot. Send hips back as you pop this front toe towards sky. Really flex that foot. In fact, my toe is so flexed that this toe is pointing back towards my, my kneecap right there. Back is flat. It's not grounded. Back is flat. Excellent. From here, go ahead and give yourself a big hug. Your core has worked really hard for you today. I'm proud of that. I hope you are too. I will see you next time for Strength Work. I'm Jamie C. You have a good one. Remember, movement is medicine.